magnesium actually happened because of an opportunity for it to happen. I had been working on a solo, which was sort of, I guess, uh, had come out of Aikido dreams. I had studied Aikido. And I just wanted to be able to leave the planet and not worry about the re-entry. In other words, get up into the air in any crazy position and uh, somehow have the uh, um, skill to uh, come back down without um, damage. So I had practiced it on various lawns and mats and things like that, on water, and uh, had come to some conclusions and some... But anyway, saw very clearly that the Aikido teaching had uh, treated the body in such a way that uh, you could re-enter, you could, you could come down as long as you could get one of your four limbs kind of underneath you or get a roll going or somehow change the, the landing into a, you know, where you're not going like point perpendicular to the surface, to the floor, but instead that you're taking that and you're bending your shape so that at the moment you're hitting, the shape is going, and then suddenly you're working on that, in that dimension. So I was playing with this, and then uh, here came Oberlin College, wanting three weeks of classes, and uh, uh, there were a number of young men in their early 20s, and I thought there should be a men's class. And then I thought, uh, yeah, the, the um, the solo could be part of that material. I could teach them a little bit about how to do that. So, in addition to dance training, as John Fakney, who happens to be here, who was in that group, uh, remembered that we did do a certain amount of um, traditional dance technique, but then we went on to uh, move the space further. And by moving the space, I'm a, I feel like contact improvisation treats space spherically. So you do not have the horizontal uh, with sky above and floor below uh, uh, reality. You have another reality where from the visual point of view, uh, everything's moving around you. Any, any you know, that sphere, that's what I mean by spherical. I mean, the, the senses themselves are experiencing the space as a sphere instead of as a, uh, um, I guess it's more two-dimensionally. It, uh, really, the dimensions kind of blend into one another as you go on talking about them. But um, So contracting from sphere to horizontal or even to stage, which is sort of planal, in its actual effect, because you, you see plainly, you start to um, observe distance by uh, uh, comparing sizes of things beyond about 40 feet, I think it is, that we see uh, three-dimensionally. Anyway, so I started working with them working on roles, working on disorientation, working on uh, uh, colliding and collapsing into the collision, like a soft collision, falling together, falling, rolling together. So they got used to all of that. And watching their senses, watching their faces, watching their eyes, seeing if how often they, their eyes were... Um, if you get disoriented and the body needs to shut down the brain, it can do it like that and then back on like that, and you don't even know what happened. It's a little bit like blinking, right? In, in blinking, you, uh, you're not aware of it unless you become, unless you start to really study blinking. You don't notice that you do it all the time. So the blinks can last a little bit longer if you're rolling and you're disoriented. You know, the, 
You don't, you, you remember the fear perhaps that you felt, but you don't remember that your body shut your brain down so that the body could do what it knew would help you survive the role. So things like that, uh, looking at their senses as they were learning, and I was expanding them bit by bit into uh, more and more spherical, more and more interactions, making sure that everybody could interact with everybody. And then, as it happened, uh, a young filmmaker named, um, or video maker really, named Steve Christensen from Antioch College was there and shot the event. So the event was essentially um, a lot of crashing around on a mat, followed by a lift of a randomly chosen sacrifice. <laughs> one, of the, one of the guys was lifted up by all the other guys and put way up in the air. And uh, uh, he came back down and there was a little bit more uh, activity. And then there was a five minute stand so that after, out of all that chaos came, uh, I don't know if it's, it would be called order, but it, quiet, you know. Uh. So that was magnesium. 